going on your Disney field trip? Today we're going to be making the world famous Walt Disney World Dole Whips. It's a lovely ice cream frozen concoction that usually means if you're going to get a Dole Whip, it means that you have to wait in a really long line because they're so popular at Walt Disney World. But when you make it in your own kitchen, you don't have to wait in line, which is perfect. I'm not a real big fan of lines, although there was that one time that I was waiting in line to get on Space Mountain with my brother and there was a huge commotion and we were waiting and wondering what was going on and then when we stood up on the turnstile like the the thing that held you in um we saw michael jackson riding on space mountain and we gave him a wave and then we decided we were going to figure out where michael jackson was going and go in the opposite direction because he was causing quite a stir so get ready here come Dole Whips. As usual, you will want to get all of your ingredients out first. You'll notice I have out my blender, a bag of frozen pineapple chunks, coconut milk, sugar, salt, and a lemon and a lime. Now that I have all my ingredients out, the next step is to dump them all into my blender. So I got my blender right here. Any blender will work. If you don't have a blender, you could also use a food processor to make this. Um, I do think you need either a food processor or a blender, but if you have that, you're good to go. So I'm gonna start with the pineapple. It called for two and a half cups of pineapple. And it said preferably, since this is called a Dole Whip, to use Dole, but because of, of course, COVID, here I go again, blaming COVID, they didn't have that, so I got this lovely Cambridge Farms pineapple chunks. It says on the package that the serving size is one cup, and it says servings per container about 2.5, which using my Mrs. Kilday math means there's two and a half cups of pineapple chunks in this bag, so I'll dump those in. Then it calls for one third of a cup of milk or coconut milk or half and half or whatever you have on hand. I decided to go for dairy free. So I have out my coconut milk and I stirred it up inside the can so it was all mixed up nice. And I was going to use the spoon and I think probably pouring it would be a little bit easier and less messy. So I dumped that in. Here's my one third cup measure. Dump that in. Then it says that it needs three tablespoons of granulated sugar. So if you remember from my first video, I only have a teaspoon, so I need to measure out three tablespoons. And if you remember, three teaspoons equals a tablespoon, so if I do three times three, I need nine teaspoons of sugar to add to my blender. So here we go, counting again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you have a tablespoon, then you only need to do three, which makes it a lot easier. It also says to add a pinch of salt. So I'm just gonna take, I have this lovely kosher salt, one pinch into the blender. And then it calls for one teaspoon of both lemon and lime. So I'm gonna take my lime, cut it in half. And this is not going to be an exact science, but I'm going to squeeze one half of the lime into the blender. Ooh, this is not a very juicy lime. So to make sure I get one teaspoon out, I'm going to use my little lime juicer that I luckily had right here. And I'm gonna squeeze that with the water. This is not the best angle for squeezing. All right, that looks like about a teaspoon. Eh, a little more. I like the lime. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the lemon. Cut that in half. Luckily, I've got my juicer right here to juice that in. And squeeze nice and hard. I don't think I want it too sweet. And then I put the lid on the blender and this is going to be really loud and I'm just gonna turn it on and let it blend. 
might help if I turn the right switch. The recipe said to blend for between three and five minutes. I found that after three minutes, it was good and ready to go. I got out these Red Sox World Champion glasses to pour it into. So I'm gonna open it up. Oh, it looks delicious. I may need a spoon to help me get it into the glass. Oh yeah, definitely a spoon. It's definitely helpful because it is very thick, which is just like what you want. It's like the consistency of almost a sorbet or a sherbet. Or is it sherbet? I'm not sure. Let me just scoop this in. Oops, now I'm making a huge giant mess for you all to see. If you had some extra pineapple chunks, you could garnish the top, make it look all pretty and fancy. Or if you would rather like maybe put a sprig of mint, that would also be nice. Ooh, and I wouldn't say I did a great job scooping it in, but here it is, Dole Whip, ready to go without having to stand in line. Whoop, whoop. Here is Higgins enjoying his Dole Whip. I didn't let him have the whole thing, but the part that he's licking right now, he's enjoying very much. So we hope you enjoy your Dole Whips too.